volume is light, markets are soaring, all for Yom Kippur. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update for Monday, September the 28th. And, well, it is Yom Kippur, uh, the end of the Jewish New Year. And, of course, uh, it'll be a quiet day trading, except for the markets are going parabolically higher at the moment. So this is either the rip your face off rally or we have held the bottoms and we're getting ready to make another move towards the top. As we've said for the last few weeks, there's a huge move brewing in one direction or the other. Now, this is not the huge move. This is a big move for intraday, for sure, or daily. But we'll see what the rest of the story is when it's all said and done. In the meantime, unfortunately, we're short everything and uh, not not a very comfortable feeling at the moment, but it is what it is, and we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. In the meantime, again, we are short, and uh, Dow's up over 500. S&P's up almost 60 points. NASDAQ's almost up 200. Russell's exploding. So, hey, what do you can do? That is life in the big city, as they say. So we'll continue to go, and we'll see what happens, as I said, tomorrow. And if we reverse, we'll reverse. That's all. Again, we won't be reversing today either way. And, of course, the metals were lower, and now they've all also popped. And gold, silver, and platinum are higher, and we're short those as well. So an ugly start to the week, and uh, we'll see where we go from here. In the meantime, net gas is is lower. We're short. We're long. Excuse me. Uh, uh, copper is higher. We are along that. Uh, the dollar is lower, and we are along that. Uh, crude is higher, and we are along that. So, again, at the end of the day, like I said, it is what it is. We don't worry about the daily moves. You will see what everything shakes out after the day is over, and we'll look at it tomorrow. Again, it is a more a quieter day. Volumes will be light today. Let's see what the rest of the story is, as Paul Harvey used to say. And, of course, the ag ag markets are getting a little bit hammered today. Uh, Grains are down across the board. So either they've seen their run, which I don't think so, or they're pulling back to some very scary areas. Uh, In in the meantime, we are long corn. We are long wheat, still short soybeans. Uh, But I'm not, you know, again, I don't don't have the same uh, warm and fuzzy feeling I was having for a while. And I, I would not be surprised if they change. And I'm I'm not as concerned as I was because this is fairly weak. But we will, again, go back to a very light buy in trading day. So I'm not going to get overly concerned nor drastically change what I actually think at the same time. Uh, the meats are, you know, the, the fat cattle or live cattle is slightly higher. Feeders and hogs are lower. Uh Again, the hogs are no surprise. They're in a great shape. Uh, cattle, we're still short, but they're still holding on very well. And I would expect any rally will reverse those. And last I checked, uh, cotton was a little bit lower. Uh, oranges was lower. Uh, coffee was flat. Uh, sugar was higher and cocoa was higher. So, again, those are for those of you who trade the sauce. In the meantime, again, I just I just say to you, you know, Be careful. If you want to trade today, no problem. Just know how you're getting out and where you're getting out. That's the biggest key in the trading environment is to know where you're getting out. It's easy to get in. How are you going to get out? That's what you want to know and where. And I'm talking about if you're losing, that's where you want to work. You want to know where your exit is in case it doesn't go the way that you think it's going to go. Um, Again, don't forget our great partnership with Family Farms. Uh, you know, again, this is why we always want farmers and, and, and producers to be hedged just for reasons like this. So you don't have to think about them when they go down. You just are able to roll down, we create a new basis and be ready to rock. And of course, our brokerage partners, none better than CTG for commodities and futures. Uh, they do all of our letter of direction trading. And of course, they've got some new products coming out, which I'm excited to present to you. And of course, don't forget, I do have other accounts elsewhere. You don't have to use them. You can certainly self-direct, but if you want letter direction, it is CTG. And the same goes for uh, Tradier, uh, equities and and, 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 uh, and options partner. Look, I have other, I have accounts at other places, but uh, again, for 10 bucks a month, how can I beat that? Especially at the volumes that I'm personally trading, but anybody, if you're paying more than $10 a month, you may want to consider 
at least using Trader for your more active trading. They do a great job, great customer service, got it all going for you. Come out of your port, Andy Heck. He's been writing fever- feverishly on the quarterlies, which are coming out soon. And of course, you want to make sure you get a hold of that report. Right now, it's $100 a month, $800 a year. Uh, it will be going up because we're going to be adding some new features to it as we will present to you in a webinar in the next few weeks. If you want to help our high school program as we rebuild it, it's at Patreon, P A T R E O N dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's Patreon dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. And of course, we had Sunday Night Football, a double victory. The Packers on the money line and on the uh, and on the uh, the line. And of course, tonight you had a huge game, probably one of the best games of the year. Baltimore, Kansas City, uh, Kansas City getting three and a half. We're gonna we're gonna lay it pretty heavily with Baltimore tonight. I think they're the best team in football. Uh, I think Kansas City's great, and I love Pat McCombs, but I think we're going to see uh, a beatdown for the Chiefs. We'll see what happens, and we'll see you back tomorrow. And, and for all my uh, Jewish friends, Happy New Year, Lashana Tova. And when you watch this, we'll probably be till later, most likely. Uh, have a good fast. We'll see you later, everybody, and have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow with another Bubba's Daily Update.